Here we're going to be doing a walk around on a 1500 gallon monolithic tank. As you can see here, we have it labeled with our logo. Here it says either 1250 or 1500 gallon. Oh, this uh, particular tank form can make either size. We just mark off which one it actually is. We can do three feet maximum burial and 300 pounds per square foot of live load. This tank is made with three inlets. So we have a side inlet, an end inlet, as well as on the other side, we have an inlet as well. It's four inch uh, polylock four boot. That's a rubber connection. We use 5,000 pound PSI concrete. And this is a top seam tank, which means instead of having the seam at the middle of the tank, we have it at the very top. This is uh, done for watertight connections when you're putting it near waterfront or you're submerging it completely in water. We have three outlets as well. This is an outlet on this side. We have an outlet on the end, just like we did on our inlet side, and the other side has it. As you can notice, we have a three inch pitch difference between the inlet and outlet of the tank. And that allows for the liquid from moving from that side of the tank to this side of the tank and going out to the D-box. Now this shows the top of our tank and because it's a single compartment tank, it has two covers on top of it. One of them is the inlet and the other one is the outlet. And this particular one, we have plastic riser and cover built into the top of the tank so you can bring it up to grade as a watertight connection. We have two handles so we can easily pick up the cover. It has a taper to it, and you put it back down in, nice and easy. On this side, we put a six inch riser on top of the tank. You screw it all down in, there's eight screw holes. You screw down each hole, and you put the uh, plastic cover back on top of it. You turn it, and you screw these down as well. And it has handles, so you can pull it up once it's in the ground. And that is one option we carry. We carry polylock risers and covers, and built in and you, this comes with or without plastic. In New England, uh, because we have extreme winter temperatures, uh, on, at our plant, before this goes out into stock, we drill a weep hole at the very bottom of the tank because concrete covers are not watertight, and if water seeps into this tank and freezes, it'll crack the bottom of the tank and uh, make it not watertight. So what we do is we drill a weep hole, so if any water gets inside of the tank, it leaks out, and then before we deliver this to a customer, we'll take water plug and we'll water plug this so it's nice and watertight. But because we are able to deliver this tank in one piece and we uh, keep it in stock in one piece, that's what we have to do is keep a weep hole until uh, it's going out uh, for delivery.